So, let us look at the statement of the Ries representation theorem. It states that if x is a locally compact Hausdorff space and lambda is a positive linear functional on the uh, space of continuous compactly supported functions on x, then lambda induces a sigma algebra B lambda, meaning that uh, here induces means that B lambda can be constructed from lambda. So, this is the statement saying that lambda induces a sigma algebra B lambda, meaning that B lambda can be constructed just from uh, the given lambda. And this sigma algebra B lambda contains the Borel sigma algebra Bx. So, remember that the Borel sigma algebra was the collection of all Borel subsets of uh, x, which is the uh, smallest sigma algebra generated by the open, subs open subsets of x. And so, the sigma algebra B lambda that lambda induces, it contains all the Borel sets and a unique measure mu lambda defined on B lambda such that the uh, this positive linear functional lambda applied to f is nothing but the integral of f with respect to uh, this measure mu lambda. Additionally, additionally mu lambda satisfies some extra nice conditions, some other nice conditions, nice uh, properties of uh, regularity which we call regularity of uh, uh, the measure which makes it which makes it a what is called a, a radon measure. So, this uh, mu lambda that is induced by the positive linear functional lambda is a so called radon measure. So, before we come to the proof of uh, the Ries representation theorem, let us look at the definition of a Radon measure and see some nice properties that Radon measures enjoy on locally compact Hausdorff spaces. So, first let me fix some notation. So, B x is the sigma algebra of Borel sets of x. So, this is called the Borel sigma algebra. And um, uh, if mu is a measure on the sigma algebra of Borel subsets, then mu is called a Borel measure, mu is called a Borel measure on x. So, this is the definition of a Borel measure So, now if, so let me go to uh, another page. So, if E uh, belongs to B of x, meaning that E is a Borel set, E is a Borel set, then mu is called outer regular outer regular uh, for e if mu of e so here mu is a borel measure so this is a borel measure and if mu of e is the infimum of 
mu of u such that u is u contains e and u is open in x. So, if this equality holds then uh, mu is called outer regular for e. Similarly, mu is called inner regular for e if mu of e is now the supremum over mu k such that k is a subset of e which is compact. So, in this case mu is called inner regular for e. Uh, if mu is both inner regular and outer regular for all Borel subsets uh, in X of X, then mu is called a regular Borel measure. This is a regular Borel measure. So, if both these conditions, uh, so let me name them 1 and 2. So, if both 1 and 2 are satisfied, so it is both outer regular and inner regular for all Borel sets, then mu is called a regular Borel measure. Now, another definition, this is about locally finite Borel measure. So, a Borel measure mu on x is called locally finite if measure of all compact sets k is finite for any k compact we have that the measure of k is finite. So, finally, we come to the definition of a Radon measure. Radon measure and this is a measure a Borel measure mu on x is called a Radon measure if mu is locally finite mu is outer regular for all Borel sets and mu is inner regular for all open sets. So, here uh, we allow outer regularity for all Borel sets, but inner regularity for only open subsets in X. So, a locally finite measure which is outer regular for all Borel sets and inner regular for all open sets is called a Radon measure. So, what are the examples of Radon measures that we can uh, construct? So, of course, uh, on R d the Lebesgue measure is a Radon measure because of course, all compact sets have finite uh, Lebesgue measure because they are bounded. So, they have finite Lebesgue measure and we have already seen that for all Lebesgue measurable sets, 
we have outer regularity as well as inner regular inner regularity so in particular uh, we have outer regularity for all borel sets and we have inner regularity also for all borel sets in rd so not just for open sets inner regular inner regularity holds for all borel sets and in fact it, we have seen that it also holds for all lebesgue measurable sets but for the purposes of uh, seeing viewing it as a, a radon measure it is enough to consider outer regularity for borel all borel sets and inner regularity for all open sets and here uh, there is a nuance that if your locally compact house or space so if so let me put this as a remark that if x is a sigma compact space locally compact house or space and mu a radon measure on x then inner regularity for uh, all borel sets in x holds for mu so uh, a radon measure by our definition was allowed only to have inner regularity for all open sets but in the case of a sigma compact space so recall that sigma compact sigma compactness sigma compact space x is a countable union it can be expressed as a countable union of compact sets kj compact for each j so when you have a sigma compact space then uh, inner inner regularity for all open sets implies inner regularity for all borel sets so now we have seen that uh, our lebesgue measure on rd is a radon measure in fact if you consider alpha so on x uh, if you take x to be the real line alpha is a non decreasing map non decreasing function on r then the Lebesgue Stilges measure that we have constructed before M alpha is a radon measure. So, all the nice examples of measures that we have seen until now they are radon measures. Now, let us look at another example for abstract spaces uh, x an abstract space uh, let us take x and p x as a measurable space with the following measure with the measure defined as follows uh, let us fix a point x not in x then we define 
define the measure mu x naught as follows mu x naught of any subset E of x, so E an arbitrary subset, then you can define mu x naught of E equals 1 if x naught is in E and 0 otherwise. So, this kind of uh, so one can check actually. So, let me put this as an exercise is to check that mu x naught is a measure on defined on the sigma algebra of all subsets of x. So, in particular it is if x is a topological space a locally compact Hausdorff space then it will con contain all the Borel subsets of x and it will be a Borel measure. And <coughs> now if x is a locally compact Hausdorff space, so we by this remark a mu x naught is, is a Borel measure, this is called the Dirac measure at x naught. So, now let us check whether this is a Radon measure. So, first is that mu x naught mu x naught is locally finite since it is finite. So, it is a finite measure. So, therefore, it is locally finite because it takes only values 0 and 1. Secondly, for outer regularity for Borel subsets, we have the following. So, if x naught belongs to E, then mu x naught of E is 1. So, for any open set u containing E, we have mu x naught of u is also equal to 1 because x naught belongs to u and this implies that 1 which is equal to mu x naught E is equal to the infimum of all mu x naught u such that E is a subset of u which is open in x because uh, all of these are equal to this is equal to 1. So, this whole set is the just uh, one number which is 1. So, the infimum of just a single uh, singleton set is the value of that set. So, we get 1. So, outer regularity for Borel sets holds uh, in this case. On the other hand, if x naught does not belong to E, we proceed as follows. So, of course, then mu x naught E equals 0 and now we have to find an open set containing E which does not contain x naught. So, goal our goal is to find an open set U containing E such that x naught does not belong to u. So, this would imply that uh, the infimum of mu u such that uh, E is a subset of u and u is open, this is equal to 
0 and this would imply that it is it also satisfies outer regularity when x0 does not belong to E. So, let us see how this can be done. So, for each each uh, y in E because x is Hausdorff since x is Hausdorff we choose a an open set an open neighborhood u y of y such that x naught does not belong to u y. So, in fact, this is uh, does not even require the full Hausdorff condition, it is just T 1. So, this is the T 1 separability axiom. Now, we can write, we can take the union uh, over y in E of these open sets u y. So, this is an open set u and this contains E because the union is over all points in E and x naught does not belong to u because x naught does not belong to any of the u y's. So, x naught does not belong to u. So, this means that uh, our mu x naught is outer regular on all Borel sets in x. Now, for inner regularity inner regularity on open sets so if e is open is open in x now we can again we can divide it in two cases if x not belongs to e then again mu x naught of E equals 1 and now we have to take the supremum of all uh, compact subsets of E and see whether the measures uh, of the, the supremum of those measures of compact subsets inside E also gives you 1. Now, since uh, mu x naught can only take values 0 and 1 values 0 and 1 then this implies that the supremum of mu x naught k such that k sitting inside E is compact this is of course less than or equal to 1. On the other hand we have the compact set uh, the singleton set x naught this is a compact set this sits inside E and mu x naught of of this compact set x naught this is equal to 1. So, this implies that the supremum is also greater than or equal to 1 is greater than or equal to 1 which proves that uh, this is in fact so equal to 1. So, this is implies that uh, mu x naught E is equal to the supremum of mu x naught k such that k is in E and k compact. So, this is the case when x naught belongs to E. On the other hand, if x naught does not belong to E, x naught does not belong to E, then of course, mu x naught E is equal to 0. But now, it is obvious that if k is any subset of E, then x naught does not belong to k and this implies that mu x naught k equal to 0, which means that the supremum of mu x naught k for 
if you only consider compact sets then also this is going to be 0 all of these are 0. So, we see that it is both inner and outer regular and it is locally finite. So, this means that mu x naught is a Radon measure. Now, let us see a non example. So, ex an example of a measure which is not a Radon measure. So, we can take x as r d even just r and uh, mu to be the counting measure. So, what is the counting measure? So, this is defined on all subsets of r and this counting measure of a set E is just the cardinality of E. So, if E is finite and infinity otherwise. So, if E is not finite, it is infinite and so the cardinality we set it to be infinity. So, of course, um, if you have a compact set, so let us say the set 0 1, the interval 0 1, this is a compact subset of R, but this gives you a value infinity. So, this means that it is not locally finite, not locally finite implies that this is not a Radon measure. So, one can even have examples where the measure is finite, but not uh, either inner regularity fails or outer regular regularity fails, but uh, I will not go into these examples. You can look at uh, chapter 7 in Folland's book for uh, those kinds of examples where uh, your measure is finite, but it is not uh, Radon, meaning, meaning that either outer regularity or inner regularity fails to hold. Okay.